to see what I have done here. Ach, uh... The empty changing room looked and smelled exactly as she remembered. She headed to her once favourite wash nook in the corner, nudging off her boots on the way. A cautious tug at the bandage bulk made the fabric skid loose on her torso, unleashing a world of itch. Jewel ripped it off, along with her shirt shreds revealing streaks of angry pink tissue underneath. She poked at the bulging, throbbing patches and decided to leave the necklines in their place. After giving herself a quick wet towel rub, she shoved her old clothes into a waste chute and scoured the gear storage for replacements. Where, whatever it is you've done, that reads better. I didn't touch that part. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's a okay. good thing, it reads better, but I didn't touch that part. <laughs> what did you do? Carry on. Oh, you've added the thoughts, okay. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it looks like you've added the here, but that must have been... She found herself staring at the row of fossil logs smothered in a tidal field. She thought about... Uh, the thought of... Yeah, now that it did, her heart sank into... Where was my problem, then? I Stop don't know. It's a sturdy... Standard issue... With a size too big guard suit over, over something, her fresh overgarb, or with a size too big guard suit over, fresh over undergarb, she was almost good to go, just fasten the boots and... With a size too big guard suit over fresh undergarbs, it works as a sentence, but I, my brain's like, this is difficult to read. Le leave it. If someone else picks up on it, then someone else picks up on it, but it could probably fly. With a size too big guard suit over fresh undergarbs, uh, she was I almost... I think I know how to fix it. Yeah. A size too big guard suit over fresh undergarbs, she was almost good to go. Just fasten the boots and... Shit! the guards.